All right, trumpet players and baritone players. This is a video I've needed to do for a long time because sometimes we end up with sticky valves on our instrument. And you can get to a point where you can tell if it just needs more valve oil or if it's just sticky. And when it's sticky, it's because there's a buildup of gunk in our valves that needs to be cleaned off. If we add more valve oil to it, it's only going to add to the gunk and slow it down more. So um, my valves are a little bit sticky right now. And so what we need to do is we're going to go to the sink and we're going to actually clean these. And so to do that, you need to uh, unscrew the top of the valve and the bottom of the valve. Set the bottom valve cap off to the side. And then we're going to set the trumpet down and we're going to clean both the valve and the valve casing. Now, ideally, you need to have one of these, which is a, a valve brush, okay? Um, it's made to fit down in the, uh, the, the casing. So we'll use that in a moment. Uh, for right now, we're gonna use this to, just to kind of gently scrub the outside of the valve a little bit. So what we're gonna use is just water and a little bit of dish soap, okay? So I'm gonna put some so right there directly on the valve and then just scrub it in there. You may see the gunk and you, and you might not. Here I can't necessarily see the gunk. Um, I'm going to take my fingers and make sure the, the soap really gets in there and kind of dissolves the gunk really well. That's the technical term, gunk. So we'll do that. And then I'm simply going to rinse off the valve. Get all, every last bit of soap off of it. And then just set the valve off for a moment to dry. With this, uh, we've got both the top and the bottom off so we can, we can see you through there. And I'm going to put some more dish soap on the brush. The valve brush. A little water and then I'll just Insert the, the brush into the valve, clean it all the way through. Now this process might get a little bit of soap and water in the rest of your trumpet, but that's not going to be a problem at all. We're going to rinse this out in a moment. If you don't have a valve brush, um, you can still run some, some water, maybe some soapy water through there. It's not going to be quite as effective. But it'll be better after you do that than not. Okay. And then just run some water directly through the valve casing. So now here, you want to make sure you kind of tilt your trumpet a little bit. So any water that got up into the other tubes can come out. Okay. Take a towel and dry it off a little bit. Now we can put our bottom cap back on. Shake a little excess water off the valve and oil the valve. Place back in, make sure it aligns. And now it's moving a lot more smoother, more smoothly and quicker. So that's how you do it.